Hey Rat Gang, it's your boy, Marker, or Maddie, whatever. Anyway, today, um, God is against me. It is the day before uploading, lost time of track time. Well, actually, it's like an hour before uploading, but I can do this, yay! Uh, there's a dog outside my house barking, even though it is literally the middle of the night. And there is also my cats are running around. So if you hear little jingle jingles, then that is them being their free-willed wild cat selves. So as you may have read in the title, this is a drawing for the fall festivals. Uh, so around the world right now, there are multiple different fall festivals now that we're getting into, like officially getting into autumn and fall. And Autumn and fall is like my favorite season. I prefer calling it autumn, but I'm gonna call it fall most of this video just because it's like a better known term, I guess. So fall, oh my God, I love fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season. I just, I really like cool weather. I'm not a fan of the heat and it's sticky and gross, but that's beyond the point. With all the fall festivals going on, I decided to draw my own festival girl. And she's not, she's, She's more of a spring festival, but I'm just gonna say it's the fall festival. Say yay, fall festival, everyone. As I said, there are a ton of fall festivals going on right now. I know there's one happening where I live. Like, it happened a few days ago. Uh, typically in like, I think most uh, Western culture groups where there is a sort of fall festival, it's commonly almost like a carnival with like rides and food and stuff. And then uh, more in the eastern and um, eastern and northern and southern kind of things, it's more of a it's a lot of food and more about like being with like family and like games and stuff rather than like actual like weird like roller coasters and stuff. I realize how weird that is that I think about it now that like uh, carnivals and festivals and stuff. There's like not I wouldn't quite say roller coasters, but there's like thrill rides almost and those say like now that I think about that, that is like the weirdest thing that they, you're going to thrill rides for a festival. I don't know, I just thought that's kinda weird. Here I am sipping my lukewarm tea that burned my tongue earlier i love that for me so the subject matter of this painting it's i came up with the idea later on it's more of i was um just doodling in my sketchbook and i recently watched the anime samurai champloo which is a um hip-hop historical japanese anime and it's i really liked it it was really interesting and all of the kimonos and um yukatas in that it really i was like oh i want to draw one mine's definitely more like uh not as traditional as the traditional ones it's more like stylized i suppose and yeah but i essentially was drawing in my sketchbook and i had this little sketch i drew of this uh sundere uh character and she was just so cute and i colored her and i <laughs> the colors really remind me of strawberry shortcake so i changed them a little in the painting I didn't want it to be too like uh I didn't want it to look too much like I sort of stole a color scheme so I kind of had to you know, move away from that a little but I still really like it and uh, so I was drawing this soon did I a character and I was like oh that's so cute I'm gonna draw her a little more like uh better now because the original sketch was just a doodle <laughs> so i drew her like nicer and i drew a pose and i was like oh i really like this and i have no i need to do a painting for my uh, most uh my next video and i did this on the 7th or 8th i think is when i painted this but it took me six days to edit because i'm lazy anyway so i decided to paint it and I love painting so much. I just ugh, love painting. The painting, I feel like with like markers and stuff, I feel like I can do a lot with them, but I just feel like with painting, like even if you make like the slightest mistake, you can just completely go over it and pretend like it never happened. 
and you can get sometimes like more bright colors and all this different stuff and I just I really like painting I don't know why and I decided to switch up the colors a little as I said because the originals colors were very saturated or they had they were uh, very bright and almost neon colored because I used my Ohuhu brush markers which are very saturated markers and they're very pigmented and I was like, I think that this might be a little, uh, these colors might be eye bleeding. And, uh, if you don't know what eye bleeding means, it's basically wherever the colors are so bright and, like, just, like, sticking out. And there's too many of those bright colors, so it just looks like one of those, like, emo My Little Pony drawings. You know which ones I'm talking about. Anyway, so I found... I changed the colors a little and I switched the hair color. This is actually one of my favorite colors ever. It is a sort of a light pink mauve color. And I don't care if you call it mauve, you're wrong. It's mauve. I'm, I'm from the Midwest. I don't know how to speak. It's more of a mauve kind of pink color rather than in the original, which was a almost orangey red color. And I might show photos. I might not. I don't know. It's on my Instagram if you're really that interested. Also, go follow me on Instagram. It's Maddie underscore markers. There's a lot more posts on there. I post on there like every couple days just because I do these sketchbook things all the time because I literally doodle in 24-7 generally. So there's a lot of stuff that on there and there's a lot of content you can see that I don't happen to post on my YouTube because editing is a bitch. Anyway... Um, yeah, so in the painting, I didn't have many issues, as you may know, if you've seen some of my past videos, I've had a lot of issues with painting sometimes and recording, and I did actually have a recording issue. The actual video portion of this, I mentioned that, so sorry about that. Sometimes I lose clips in post and I can't do anything about it because the clip's lost forever it's like, okay <laughs> i've also had times where i will um like drop big old chunks of paint in the middle of the painting audio jump or I'll be using a color and it will look fine whenever I'm using the palette and I'm mixing it and then I'll put it on the paper and it looks disgusting. Absolutely terrible. Like, terrible. So that's about it for this video. I should have plenty of audio. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd highly appreciate if you would subscribe or if you would um, like the video. Even that stuff counts. If you enjoyed it, and want to see more of me, I have many different social medias, including Instagram, DeviantArt, Twitter, TikTok, uh, Amino, Discord, and basically everything else that you can think of. I post uh, normally on almost all of them, uh, and that's about it for today. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Every view counts. Even if you stayed in for three seconds, we're like, this girl's voice is literal um, earblood. <laughs>
but I still want to appreciate you for staying and listening with me. So, uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful autumn season, and I wish you good fortune over the next two weeks. See you next time. Later. Keep riding Catch a nigga slipping from behind